Son. He, he, he is the head of this program. And, and, and everything, everything, it ain't nothing going to be that God ain't going ain't gonna to already got his plan. See, he's got a, he, he's got a, a blueprint. And this is it. And he rolls out of it. He rolls out a little more. And, and we that are knowledgeable, we know that God is coming uh, in these last days. And we're in the last days. And I told Brother John the other night, I said, Brother John, I'm telling you, I said, uh, you know, God's going to, most of his people, uh, he's going to get out of the graveyard. Because we got to prove now that don't need to believe fast leads crazy. Uh, they, they don't believe about it. But I told it night after night when I get up here in the pulpit, Jesus said, my word is true. That's the greatest privilege that we've ever had is knowing the truth. Knowing the truth. We, we know the truth. They got a tape and video and CD and, and, and uh, that they got the word of God in any way that you want to hear. And all these translations and things and, and, and we're without excuse. I said we're without excuse. If you'll stand with me, I'm going to read my text found in Psalms 90 and verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth. That's a long time. Or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Before there was ever a mountain, he was God. Before he ever formed the earth and the heaven, he was God. There's never been a time that it wasn't, he wasn't God. Amen. And from everlasting to everlasting, dark God. As far back as you can go, he's God. And as forward as you can go, he'll be God. He's God now, and was God, and will be God. There's just one God. Just one God. You may be seeing it. And I, I believe it's uh, uh, what I want to do is try to instill in you there is just one God. There's just one God. And and, and we and we know that He 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 made all things. And, and if He didn't make it, it wasn't He made it. Uh, everything you see is the substance of God. Amen of creation. In John 10 and 29, he says, My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. If you're in the hands of God, amen, only way you can get out is yourself. Amen. Nobody and nothing can take us out. Nothing. Amen. We, we take ourselves out. Uh, we, we, we leave God. He never leaves us. He never leaves. And when you think you left God, He's still there. He's never left. He's not going to go nowhere. He'll be there if you come back to your senses. God will be there. Because He's God. And, and He said, if you're in my hand, no man can pluck you out. No man can pluck you out. That's what I'm saying. Amen. We're in the hands of God. And I told the, I told the devil to talk to you a while back. I said, no, no, no. That ain't going to shake me out of the hands of God. That ain't going to move me. Because I made up my mind. If my friends and relatives don't want to live for God, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. I'm just going to live for God. I'm telling you, I Amen. I ain't never let 10 folks keep me home. I said, well, this is your house as long as you visit me 
Eat, drink, be merry. If it's church time, I gotta go. That's right. I gotta go. It won't, I won't be long, long, but I'm gonna be gone. Because I gotta go to the all in Christ. I appreciate you coming to the I'll be with you the rest of the week. Day and night. We'll do anything they sing. Amen. And, and and really have a good time. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forsake the one that saved me from hell. I'm not gonna forsake the one that the I'm not gonna forsake the one that raised me from the dead. Amen. I appreciate him first. Amen. First. Hallelujah. And I, I love it. I love it for the fact that, that I'm in the hands of God and no man can put me out. Nothing can put me out. If I don't want drugs to take me out, it can't take me out. If I don't want fornication to take me out, it can't take me out. If I don't want stuff and money to take me out, it won't take me out. Amen. I'm going to stand my ground and say no to the devil and no to sickness and no to demons and no to stuff. Amen. Because my faith and confidence is in the car that made it all. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you do not feel the presence of God say that is. Amen. Don't you love me? Don't you love me for the power? Ain't you glad for the Holy Ghost and the fire? Ain't you glad for the great and the power of God? Ain't you glad for the shouting and the praise and the dancing and the laughing and the jumping? Whoa! Hallelujah! Oh, God. What an awesome church. Amen. In the book of Isaiah 45 and 2, it says, I will go before thee. And make the crooked places straight. I will break into pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the fires of iron. Nothing can stop the church. No wonder he said, Upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. I'm here to tell you, hell, this is a fly, uh, the devil and hell. This is this is a hell proof church, a devil proof church. We're in the hands of God. We're water that kind in His name. We're a blood church. Amen. We've got the word of God. Amen. We've got a sword. Amen. That will stop the devil. Will break down the iron. Amen. Tear the brasses, brass in pieces. Amen. Thank God for the blood and the power and the glory of God. Amen. We come against things that look so bad. We come against things that look like a TV. It ain't going to work out. Amen. We keep family. Amen. We're like the eagle in the egg. We keep pecking. We keep pecking. We keep pecking. Amen. To we peck to that one spot. Then the egg gets weak. And we keep pecking until we get out of it. Amen. Keep pecking. Amen. Tell somebody. Keep pecking. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God has got us out. God has got us out. And we don't want to go back. Amen. To what God delivered us from. We don't want to go back into the world. We know the world would have us. We know the devil would have us. And we can only to go back to drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking and star hopping. But thank God. Amen. That he has given us the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the devil will try to run through yeah. your mind. 
Amen. But that brass and that arm can do both. Amen. You can get that faith to go that stuff. You don't have to be a good. You don't have to be a good man. And that that faith and that body that comes in there when you're trying to part. I tell you, man, my brain just couldn't get it going. You just yeah. couldn't get it going. But you just keep on. You keep packing. Amen. And you keep praying. You keep praying. You just keep praising Jesus and praising the Lord. And for God. Amen. You get the breakthrough. You get the power. You get the glory. And it's all the time. Because of his power. Amen. Joshua 1 17 says, And he is before all things. And by him, all things. Consists. He's before all things. And the only thing, only reason the speaker and the carpet, amen, and the piano and the drums exist is because of God. That's right. Amen. Right. He's God before it happened. He's God after it happened. He's God when we're sick. He's yeah. God when we're well. He's God when we're doing this kind of the bills pay. Amen. Uh, oh, he's God when we're struggling. He's God when we're not struggling. He's God when we got a car. He's God when we don't have a car. Amen. You've got to let him be God. You've got to let him be God. We've got more cars than we drive, more houses than we live in, and more money than we spend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I say that. 46 and 9 and 10, it says, Remember the formal things. The Lord, for I am God. And there is none else. I am God. And there is none like me. He turned the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. And the uh, and form ancient times and things. That are not yet done. Declaring, declaring the end from the beginning, from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Amen. That's not what God can do. That's what the church can do. Everything He can do, we can do. Because He's living in us. He's living in us. The Bible said, uh, that when we die, amen, uh, the flesh goes back to the dust that he made us out of, but the spirit goes back to God that gave us. That's a part of us that God gave us. Amen is our spirit. Right? And he said, declaring, amen, declaring those things that are not yet done. Amen. God is sovereign. God is sovereign. Yes, and God has given us power. And Jesus is God. And he said, these things that I do shall you do. You can declare it done. If you're praying about a house, declare it done. You're praying about some land, declare it done. Tell me what you're praying about. Declare it done. I know. I bore out the story about when I lived on the road up there. Uh, uh, you know how that, that house come about. Yes. I walked in that house and God spoke to me and said, this is your house. This is this is the house that I want to give you. Yes. So I talked to the owner and told him what I had and he took down and everything and, and he said, well, he said, you ain't, you ain't got quite enough down payment. Uh, I said, but I knew the guy, and and I said, well, I said, you know, even God wants to have that house, and he's gonna work it out somehow. He said, well, he didn't give me some more money. Amen. I said, he got more money than I'm spending. Amen. And uh, the writer is in contact with Tony Sauter. I told a couple of people, and they said, What do you find now? 
Amen. People have brought food to me. People brought money to me. People have brought me clothes and cars. Amen. And, and you know, it's amazing what God can do, what He will do. You know, when me and my wife got married, amen, she was 16 and I was 17. And I was out preaching. I was evangelizing all over. I had to come down that part of the country. And, uh, and I met her. And uh, she fell in love with me. Amen. And I fell in love with her. Amen. And uh, I said, I said to that little lady, little Cajun woman, I said, uh, let's get married. And I said, would you marry me? And she said, yes. I don't know where she finds now, but she said yes back then. Amen. And we got, I went and I, I went and talked to her dad. And uh, it, I was just scared to death, you know. And I, I talked to him. And I said, Mr. Pearson, I said, uh, uh, of course, I got him on the big side of it. And uh, I said, you know, man, men has been talking about getting married. And he said, it's all for young. I said, yeah. I said, how old was you? How old was your wife? And of course, the older, when we get back there, even the younger, they married in my time. My kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I said, we talked a while, and he said, yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right if you all get married. It'll be all right. I didn't even have a call. I went to get my blood test, and the doctor looked at me and he said, How old are you? And I told him. He said, You're getting married? I said, Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, How are you going to make this woman a living? I said, I'm a preacher. I said, Let's go all over and preach. And he said, Ain't no money in that. I said, I don't know. Well, it ain't much right now. But I said, You know, hopefully God will give us enough to live on. And uh, we got married. God moved on a lady uh, to buy us a car. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we got in that car and took off. Amen. Drove that thing. Amen. Out west, just a honeymoon. Oh, I'm telling you. Amen. God, amen, will provide. God will provide. There's no doubt in my mind that God will provide. Amen. All we've got to do is trust Him and believe in Him and be in the will of God. Amen. He said He just declared it done. And my counsel shall stand and I will do all things. Amen. We'll do all my pleasure. Look at Psalms 135, verse 6. Whatsoever the Lord please that he did in heaven and in earth, in the sea, in all the big places. Ever what pleased him, he did. He did all of this. It ain't nothing wrong with the sea and the mountains. It ain't nothing wrong with the snow and the rain and the, and, 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 and the birds and the animals. It ain't nothing wrong even with God's creation, the flowers, the, the plant life, and all of this. There's nothing wrong with everything he made was beautiful. Amen. Everything he made and created was beautiful. And it pleased him. It pleased him. Amen. But he did it. He did this. He did all of this. It's what I'm trying to show you. He's sovereign. There's nothing else beside him. Amen. There's no power. All the power that is, he said, I ordain. Yes. Amen. Good or bad. Yes. Amen. Uh, 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 evil or good. Yes. I created all things to fulfill my will. Yes. Let me say this. Amen. He said, if, if, you know, uh, that he created uh, the Pharaoh to try Moses. And because Moses passed the test, Amen. He got the Ten Commandments, Paul. 
Amen. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Amen. And, and, and so, he's done a lot of times. He was mighty, he's a mighty powerful man. The richest man in the Bible, Moses. Amen. God give him that fruit, that spirit, that gift. And, and, and I'm here to tell you that he created all things, all things. There's nothing that he didn't create. So, uh, there is evil. There is good. And they fight one another. And it's, that's our trial. That's our test in life. Is to overpower evil. To overpower evil. Amen. Overpower. Amen. The works of the flesh. Overpower the demons. Overpower sickness. Amen. Overpower poverty. Amen. Overpower. Overpower. God's got a better job for you. God's got a better car for you. God's got a better house for you. It's just it makes you not believe in faith. You don't believe in you. You don't do it until you get the fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 21 and 1. The king shall join in thy strength, O Lord. In thy salvation, how greatly uh, shall he rejoice. And we know what happened when Daniel was in the lion's den. And that king found him. And everything was all right. He said, let the God of Daniel be God. The three Hebrew children, when they was in the fire furnace. When that king went down there and seen that fourth man walking around. Amen. And when he brought the guys out. And all that burned off was the stocks and bond, uh, the bondage that they had upon them. Amen. The Bible says there wasn't a hair on their body seen. Amen. Or smell of smoke. And God delivered them. God brought them forth. And the king said, let God be God. Many kings throughout the Bible said, let God be God. Let God be God. Today that believes in the Bible. We've got a lot of leaders that believes in the Bible. We got a lot of leaders that believes in prayer today. We got a bunch of thought, but we got some that do. And thank God for the Lord to the Lord God is God. Hallelujah. Anyway, you know, you know, our vice president made a statement about Jesus speaking to him. Then Several of the Hollywood people said that he's got mental problems. Says, says, you know, he talked to God, but when God starts talking to him, he, he's got mental problems. He's got mental problems. This same, this, these two people that I'm talking about right now was praising Martin Luther King, amen, and all that he did. And I, I do too. I, I love the life story. I love what he did. I read it. I believe in it. And and and, uh, uh, and and Martin Luther King said Jesus spoke to him and said, "Rise up and go for your dream. Go for your dream. Man, and believe in God and believe in God speaking to us. Amen. There's a men and women today. Amen. That's going to be able uh, to take this country. Amen. To a higher place." That we've ever been in. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to move on. I'm telling you. Amen. Very few men that believe in God. And I'm glad that I have the confidence of believing there is sovereignty. Amen. In God. And he, there is the sovereignty of God. There is that person, God, that controls everybody. I mean, everybody. You know that God is everybody. Look what the book of Jeremiah 32 and 27 said. Behold, I am the Lord, God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Nothing. 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 Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. I preached, I was preaching this way one time and New Orleans. And I, I quoted that scripture. And there's an atheist in the back of the house. He said, Preacher, can you make a mountain too, too big and heavy? He can't move. He can do everything. I said, He's gone. He said, There ain't 
your mind. I said, you walked up here to this front. If God don't knock you flat, I'll close my Bible and never preach again. And I'll go home with you and I'll wait just like you. He looked at his family, he looked at his friend back. He got to, he actually got to shake. I said, come on up. But see, God had already spoke to me. He knew it. I would have said that. I would know my message and never, never would have repeated anything like that. But God said, you challenge me. You're a man of God and I'm giving you the power of your heart. Here's what I want you to say to him. And I said it to him. Amen. He never moved. He never moved. He never moved. Amen. He never moved. I said, you can accept your God. You leave this building. Amen. Or you come up here. Amen. Because God's challenging you to your teeth. Anybody? He said, man, I ain't never had nobody do me that way. He told me, told me that in the back of the house. He said, you ain't never had a man of God hold to you that hears from God. Yes. Amen. That's what's wrong with you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to say that God will do it exactly. It's like that missionary. Amen. He, he said, the witch doctor came and did his thing, throw himself up in the air, and said, did you do that? He said, I don't know, but in Jesus' name, you come down, that old boy hits the floor. Yeah. Amen. God don't come. God can't do. Amen. There's somebody, there's somebody who will move on to uh, challenge. Amen. These atheists and these uh, witch doctors and these uh, all this witchcraft and all that stuff. The woman told me right here in Georgia. Amen. So God put some powder on your steps. Amen. And you walk through it. You'll die. I said, that's a lie from hell. That's a lie from hell. I said, bring that God around. Bring that cornmeal on it. Bring some uh, ground up turnips on Amen. I'll walk right through it. Amen. Ain't nothing but herbs. God put them here. Amen. To help us out. All the powder you got, God create. Amen. I said, put it on my steps. Throw it in my face. It ain't gonna bother me because God's gonna be power over the dead. God's gonna be power over the dead. God's gonna be power. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. I prayed a, 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 a witch food, amen, to the Holy Ghost in Carlsbad, New Mexico, and I pastored out there. Amen. And and she come in our service, I prayed, and, and she said she's bothered with spirits. Amen. We prayed for her. She fell and wiggled like a snake and hollered and talked and said, I'm not coming out and all this stuff. We got through that woman praying with her. Amen. She was filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. The boys will come the next week, and he said, That old woman has run me all over the country. I'm so glad you prayed her too. Amen. She said, Gold here and silver there, and amen. Treasures over here, and, and said, She had me all over this country, never dancing around here, amen. Digging around. So I'm so happy you prayed that old woman too. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, God is good. God is good. In the book of Daniel 4, 34 and 35, and the, you remember Nebuchadnezzar? I never really know the story of Nebuchadnezzar. He challenged God, and God said, let seven times pass over. Remember how he went into a beast? Nails grew, his hair grew, and all over his body. He remained, what I believe, seven years. A uh, beast, then for, for challenging God, and this is what he said. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven. My understanding returned unto me. And I was blessed. And I blessed the Most High. I prayed.
praise and honor him that liveth forever. Who's the wind? The wind is an everlasting dominion. It is an everlasting dominion. And the kingdom of his generation to generation. And the inhabitants of the earth are disputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the armies of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, why do us die? That was never Nebuchadnezzar said that that, that curse lifted from us. Amen. Hallelujah. Have, have, you, have you thanked God, amen, that you're not drugging anymore? You're not committing adultery anymore? Amen. You're not stealing anymore? You're not shooting people anymore? Amen. You're not cussing anymore? Amen. You've been brought out. You've been sanctified. Amen. By the Holy Ghost and God's power is going to hold you and drove them demons out of your mind and heart and you're standing free. That ties in Jesus' name. Feel with the Holy Ghost. Believe in the Word of God and stand on your ground in spite of all the things you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that great? Hallelujah. Lamentations 337. Who is he that said, It cometh to pass when the Lord commandeth it not? Who is it? Show me one person that, it, that, that can stand up and do what God does and did and will do. He said, Just show me one. Who can do it? Who can cast out a devil? Who can heal cancer? Who can save a man? A man that was in the world and said, Who? Who can save a man like Brother Dennis? None but God. None but God. God is the only one that can forgive sin. God is the only one amen, that can heal sick bodies and save God's soul. Only God can do it. Amen. You look in the wrong direction if you're not looking to God. God is the hope. God is the answer. Amen. God is better than stuff. God is better than weed. God is better than any drug. Amen. God will give you a high so that you will come off of. Because it's a holy ghost high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is he? He said, if it's up the path, who the Lord commanded it not. Amen. Who is it? Who is it? Nobody. 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 No king, no president. Amen. No congressman. Amen. No senator. Amen. No governor. Amen. No woman, no man, nobody. No rich man. Not Hollywood. Not, not the wealth of this world. Not the richest man of this world. Amen. God made. He said, I have power. Amen. To keep you well. I have power to heal you. I have power to deliver you. Amen. I'm coming to this world for you. Not for me. I don't need anything. Amen. I didn't need anything. He said, I, if I was hungry, I would ask you because I own the cattle of a thousand years. I own it all. I made everything. Amen. I come here because I see you going to hell. I see you, amen, getting on drugs. I see you, amen, in, in a condition that you aren't going to be able to help yourself out of. And that's the reason I can. Let us stand. That's the reason I can. The sovereignty of God. Amen. That means there is no other. Behind you, before you. He said there was no God born after me, before me. He said, bring your witnesses in Isaiah. Amen. If you got any witnesses, he said, bring them and prove that there's another God. Amen. I'm the only God. Hallelujah. The only God walks in us. The only book that God ever wrote. We got, we got plenty of them. And they're selling them. Amen. They're selling them everywhere. Amen. You can get you a Bible. Amen. You can read the Word. 
Hallelujah. You can read the word. It is like the woman. I read a testimony one time. And this woman, uh, somebody give her uh, all the healing scriptures in the Bible. And, and she read them for several days. This many years ago. I think uh, if I read the book right, you can remember just exactly back, back in, a, in the uh, late forties when this happened. And, and uh, she said that and showed pictures of her. She was just, she was a skin and bone. She looked like a skeleton. And, and so uh, the, the Spirit of the Lord came upon her while she's reading in healing scriptures. Well, she's reading these scriptures. The Spirit of the Lord came up on her one day. And all the families, big families, they in the they in the kitchen in the dining room, wherever they were, eating around the table. And said, all at once the power hit her. She wrote a book after this. And and said the power hit her. And she told that cover back. And she jumped out of that bed and danced into the kitchen. And then people lost their families. They went to sleep and they went to college. They went to sleep. Somebody fell on the floor and went to say an old God. Some of them went to repenting and, and, and they were so torn up. Even by seeing this, they'd never seen a miracle. They'd never seen the hand of God move. Amen. Brother, I want you to know, sister, I want you to know, amen, the hand of God is closer than the very clothes you got on your body. If you got the Holy Ghost, you got God inside of you. Inside of you. Inside of you. Inside of you. Don't talk this man in the wheelchair over here. You know all these promises you are saying here in this church. There's something going to happen if you didn't get in and do right. And, and, and everything, a lot of stuff has happened to you. And you got to get tired of it. Or it's going to continue to happen. But God's telling me tonight that what's happening to you is going to be taken out of here. And I see you laying in a casket and your family around crying. It's all because you're letting the devil talk to you. You got to leave them drugs alone. You got to leave the world alone. And, and, and you're right where God wants you right now. He'll get you out of that wheelchair. Amen. He'll heal you. 